and I have two guests today which today the topic that we've been speaking about and that I spoke about with the ladies is black tax which I think it affects most of us in, in our communities so today we have on my right who do I have on my right uh, you have me Fanika Ansinde, uh, also known as Faro Faro yes. from the Bible I know from the Philippines. <laughs> oh, <from the laughs> <Philippe. laughs> <laughs> okay, and on my left. Uh, hi guys, I'm Nando Gum Tutuz. Tutuz, Tutuz, you don't have a surname. Oh, Mpi, Mpi, Mpi. Ah, Uli Bell. All right, I'm Tutuz. Yen Zani, Bella. Hi guys, we're going to start our second job. We never. We Yen Zani, Dwana Ya. I did. Hi. So today we'll be talking about the black tax, as I've mentioned, and um, what 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 does the black tax mean to you when you hear the word the black tax? What is it? so also you can speak a little bit of his course, mm -hmm. but in most of you are because you say you see TGSB, so mm -hmm. most of you are are English speaking. So yeah, Excuse me, sir. UCT GSB School of Business. Hey. So we are using mostly English. So uh, black tax. Personally, I think black tax is a responsibility that you play in, in a family mm -hmm. as a person or as a man or as a woman. Mm -hmm. Because basically you were raised by parents. You mm -hmm. didn't just fall from the sky. Yeah. You were raised by parents. And I know most of the time people say that I did not ask to be born. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, even the person or the your mother or your father, they decided to start a family like you would start, you would do. Mm -hmm. So I would say, uh, I think it's a responsibility per se that you, it, or a role that you are playing in your family mm -hmm. because you were raised by someone and also you should give back. It's more like giving back or assisting what they were lacking. If we know, I would say from our generation per se that let's Back then, things were not as easy as they are now. Yeah. Our parents did not go to school. Mm -hmm. They were not able to do things that they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. you know, they did not live their dreams mm -hmm. based on the circumstances at that time. Mm -hmm. you know. But they managed to start a family and raise you to be the person that you are uh, today. Would you say you need <clears throat> to provide as a man or do you need to provide as someone that is earning? You need to provide as someone that is earning. It's not, it's not really a man. A man, you can provide in your own family, let's mm -hmm. say for instance, I decide to take a wife, I start my own family. Mm -hmm. That is where I need to provide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have your hey. own family, is your family also expecting you to provide for, the, for, provide for them? For that, instance, that, your father and your mother that, who are <clears throat> living in Eastern Cape or even living in Cape Town, would, do, you, do they expect you to provide for them even though you have your own family? That is something that we need to look at because now, if I take a wife, mm -hmm. for instance, I no longer decide or I no longer have a say yes. or where the money is going. Yeah. You know? Like when I was a boyfriend or a bachelor. Yeah. You know? Now when there's someone that I share 
responsibilities with or I share my life with, the wife basically decides. Uh, they, I would say, they are the financial advisors. Mm -hmm. A man can go and work, but and without a wife, it bring it back to a wife. Then she decides, okay, So the wife one, decides who, who <laughs> gets how much. <laughs> I actually have a question based on this. Uh, I, I ask a lot of questions. Mm. Sorry, guys. Mm. I just want to uh, know. So before you take a wife, mm. you have this money that you're sending to your siblings. Like 3,000 rand. Yeah, 3,000 rand. Yeah. yeah. And then now the wife is coming. Hey, guys. Mm. Hey, I have a wife now. Mm. This money is no longer come. Mm. It's, it's supposed to be like that. So yeah. your wife decides so as to how much... I, I still feel like, see, that's the thing that's going to cause a little bit of a conflict between your wife and yeah. your siblings. It's, it's not a conflict. Remember, when my father took a wife, yeah. mm -hmm. my mother decided this is the direction we are taking when okay. it comes to financial issues. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Now I have my own wife. She decides which direction are we taking. Mm. For instance, she knows every household things that we need, basically, mm. here at home. So she knows where the money is going. She decides where the money is going. Mm. Now, at home, my mother and father, if they are still alive, they will have to liaise with her or talk to her, and she will have to find a way to fit them in the budget, within the budget. Mm. Mm. If they were getting three thousand a month, they w you would no, might you might change yeah. that. Yeah, to it might change grand. because now do you, do you, now do you communicate my... that with your parents? But now that I have a wife, I have more because I I <clears> understand <throat> where Unto <throat> is coming from. A <clears throat> lot of families, especially Omakoti, are, <clears throat> are being mistreated because they start and change <clears throat> how things were. For instance, you used to send your mom money. And she didn't have to ask anyone for it. Yeah. But now that you have a Makot, she needs to ask mm, your Makot mm, instead mm. of asking you. And you are mm. her son. Mm. And so also a black text comes with that. It comes with the fact that your mom has been communicating directly to you. Because remember, mothers, as much as they know that they are also married to this home, they are not... The, the the person that mm. you mm. you were taken from somewhere just like this Makot. Mm. Mm. But they start behaving like, you know what? This is my son. And you are her son. But now that you have a wife, and they will even go as far as saying, now that you have a wife, you have changed. You no longer buy me airtime, which she expects you to buy airtime because when you were a bachelor, you were buying airtime. You were treating her this well. So I think that's where if a e, e question mm. comes to do this coming from that now things are going to change. Makot is going to be hated if she says, no, 3,000 for what? And also, Makot has her own family, right? Mm. She has her own responsibilities as well. So how do you decide when it comes to black taxes too? So this is how much we are going to send to your family. This is how much we are going to send to my family. This is how much we are going to save or we are going to keep or we are going to spend for ourselves. Like, how does it work? Is it negotiated culturally? Do families <coughs> sit down and say, okay, fine, or only you and your wife will decide, and then you'll tell the rest. But Mama, I guess, Anna, this month, you are only getting mm. 2000 Because um, my wife and I have decided. I, I think it, 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 it's something that me and my wife should sit down mm. and draft a budget, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and decide if this one was getting 3000 Yes. Is it okay to stick for her to stick or him to, to still get, get the 3000 Yes. Uh, if we give a 3,000, mm. is it going to be enough what we have left with mm. to last us uh, the whole month? Yeah. So that's something that me and my wife will sit down, look at, and decide for them. Mm. Because the money is coming is from us, yeah. you know, not mm. them. And you'll find that some, uh, most of the time, the, the, my, our parents, which is my father and, and, and father. mother, yeah. they are pensioners. Mm. And while they are pensioners, they still want to get something from us, yeah. which understandably because it, you know that thing when you get it from someone. Yeah. It's, no, it's no longer about, I need it, yeah. but the fact that it comes from me yeah. to their son, yeah. it, it means a lot to them. Yeah. You know? So, you, so if, would you say it has a sentimental meaning because it ha is coming from you? Exactly. But it's mm. not forced. If mm. it happens mm. that you can't this week, for instance, mm. if you're working this month and you can't provide, mm. like um, because um, you um, have um, your own um, issues. Um, uh, I, 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 I don't really relate with the with black, black tax, tax really. Because yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, <laughs> because um, with the money, guys, hey, money is money, and it's very hard to get us money. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I don't have a. My, my mother passed away. Mm -hmm. My dad is still around. My dad still is working. Mm -hmm. Still here in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. My sisters, they they also here. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are working. Some of them they're not working. Mm -hmm. I don't really have like a monthly amount allowance that, I'm giving that them you have to give yeah. per month. Mm -hmm. But I do like whenever they ask me for something, mm -hmm. I, I would give them. But it, I, I must know like what what is the, this money for? So you must be alerted. Yeah, like I don't have like time. any like that is what I'm saying. Like I don't have any amount per month that I'm giving this person per yeah. a month. I don't. So you still experience black tax, but in a different way. In a you different only do way. It when you want to. Not, so it's not even black tax like that. Are, like, are like for instance, like at my at my home, I'm the eldest. Yes. So whatever I'm, whatever money that is coming from me to home, it, 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 it normally it goes to Eastern Cape. Because yes. I treat that home as my my house. Yes. Because like, like you're the eldest man. Basically. Yes. Because yes. I'm the oldest. Because of course. So that's whatever how men are that like. money that I'm, I'm, I'm is, is coming out there, I always know. Okay, this is to reno, not to say renovate, but to take care of this. Take care of that, but for that, I, I need to know. So you have a certain amount of money that you're sending home. No. For only at that time when it's needed. For instance, if they need to buy a door or a window, exactly. that is your responsibility that is as, my an, respons as an and, eldest and guy. That is, that is not my dad's responsibility because now I'm a man and I'm okay. working. So that your dad is working and you're working, but you feel like it is your responsibility to take care of the household. Yes. Who decided on that? Was it your your decision or was it <laughs> is it something that you were told as a man, as, as now you are a man, so everything that is... Uh, what about your sisters? <laughs> no. no. No, no, no. I, I know that. Nobody decided that for me. Okay. I, I just know that. Okay, Look. now I'm a man. This is my responsibility to take care. My dad is, still has a little bit of money and mm -hmm. the money that I'm making compared to my dad, the money that he's making. Yeah. I mean, I'm making way mm. more, more than he's yeah. making. Mm. Okay. So you yeah. took it upon you up, upon that me, it is okay. your responsibility. It was not something that it was no, forced no, on no, you. It no, was not. Yeah, no. you decided as yeah, a man. I decided. As a man. Was that decision affected by any cultural norms that you've seen men do? For instance, we most of the things that we do, most of the, like behavior-wise, is because of how we were raised, or is it because of how culturally we are taught? For instance, as a man, you are always taught that a man needs to be strong and mm. man needs to be a provider. Actually, it didn't. It was never planned. For okay. instance, if we if we are going to have a ceremony in mm. December, mm. you make sure that the house is okay, is in good mm. condition. Mm. It's that from there that I know that okay, cool. Mm. I'm planning to do this thing in December. Mm. And the house needs to be okay. It needs to be in this condition. Mm. It started just from there, just mm. taking that initiative that I am going to take care of this. Mm. Because and then you guys, going... this is what I'm planning. You guys can join in if you are willing to. But if you, if you're not really into it, it's fine. Mm. You, you know, talking about this, I've, now that we're touching on this issue, I've read a story I think on Facebook. I feel like this conversation is where... going to a different. Uh, uh, <coughs> because I hope you still okay with No, you. we still. No, I'm good. Yeah, we are. Too, it's exactly what I would, I'd be expecting. Okay. I've, yeah. I've, I've read the story. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's, there's family. There's, there's a, this family. They are fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, the the son and the wife. Uh, they decided to move out and start their own home, a mm -hmm. house or somewhere, you know, they are building. Mm -hmm. Now, they were renovating at home. Mm -hmm. So while they were renovating, this one with her wife, his wife, <clears throat> they built a house at home, mm -hmm. at their home. Mm -hmm. They built a house with siblings did not contribute or anything like that. Yeah. Now, they decided now, okay, we've done, we've built this one for our mother, mm -hmm. let's go and start our own home. Yeah. Yeah. So they decided to go in move out and build, build their, their own. Yeah. So while they were building, the siblings decided to renovate one of the houses. One of the houses. Mm. Now, they asked him After he to contribute been... mm. while when he built the house, he did, did not no one ask contributed. anyone. Mm. He just told them, okay, mm. this is what I'm going to do, I'm planning. Mm. And no one decided to contribute. But mm. when they decided to renovate, they want him to contribute. Because he's a man. <clears throat> so that, that created... And, and, and a fight between them mm. because the mother sided with the siblings. Mm. They wanted him to, to contribute, contribute, which he explained. And now that. he's building mm. his own home with his mm. wife. Which he explained that I have a wife now and we have children and we, we need to build them a home. Mm. So if anything, basically what we have decided, me and my wife, this is what we're going to do. 
and my wife runs the finances of this home mm. so she knows that we do not have the money mm. to contribute I'm, I'm siding yeah. with the siblings mm. we, we do. <laughs> honestly i am yeah. mm. we do not have the money to contribute because we are also building and we've already built we a house we've already built home. and no one contributed when we were building mm. so allow us to finish this maybe when we have done with our own thing mm. then if something else comes up we would contribute mm. Mm. i i i fully understand mm. Mm. but as a as a man mm. you have this role to manage all your your findings, surroundings yeah. not yeah. necessarily your findings all your relationship your relationship your family your mm. f- your finances mm. your mm. you have that responsibility mm. i have a question though so okay. so i wanted to ask okay. one question so are you saying that you would you as much as this is about money but it's also about the relationship that you have with your siblings it's about the leadership yes as a as man as a man you yeah. are as a man you are a leader mm. you need to lead your house your wife your whatever whatever mm. but you still need to lead your siblings yeah. your parents mm. that's your that's your your community mm. as a man it's just mm. how it is so if you're not contributing to what they expect to you to contribute that means you're not being a good leader you not necessarily like how if you're not contributing here financially mm. in this case mm. how are you going to come here and have a say so if you won't have a say in that house because you didn't contribute in terms of right. but you can have a say in that one because you built what that one it bef- <laughs> before you leave it is it is be- before these things that comes in mm. if even even if uh, i think uh Dala, dala. It used to be if you are a younger brother before yeah. you leave yeah. you need to build something so that yes. whatever happens there Culturally, you still have yeah. a house to come yeah. back to yeah. You still have a house to come back so to. But if you come back to your house, then you need to be able to know where you are going to sleep because you built that one. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, this is, this is where I, I, I want you to focus. Okay. <clears throat> he built the house. Okay. In the home yard. In their home. Okay. He built the house. On his own. Yes. That is his home. Yes. Mm-hmm. He built the house. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, let me just ask, mm-hmm. is he the oldest, the youngest? He's the oldest. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. he, bu- he built the house. Now we decided to move out to Kalelwa Kumzi. Mm. Which was wrong? We, no, it's not. Okay. It's not. When you have sisters, you will understand. Basically, okay, let, let, we'll get to that. Mm. Okay. I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay. He was right. Mm. Mm. So now he moved out to Stokalwa Kumzi, mm. where he was building. Mm. Now, if he, was, he is building, why are you guys or siblings starting to renovate, knowing exactly that he has already has a responsibility there of building his own home? Okay. Because when mm. when he is building, when you know that his finances are tied because he's building there, mm. why would you want him to contribute or start something knowing exactly that he already has something that he's doing, that he's committed to? Now you are forcing him to stop what he was doing to focus on renovations, which yes. renovations are not really important. If he was, he has already built the house. Mm. Renovations can wait because he's building there. Wait for renovations. So, so you mean? So you're <coughs> saying at that time they were renovating there. Mm. He was still busy building. building yes. Okay, I, I, I understand mm. that. Mm. I, I, I didn't get that mm. part. Oh. I, I didn't get that part. Okay. Now I do understand. So would you change your but, story now that you know the part? Firstly, so that you can I, so, to the next okay, question. Okay, I want you guys to get this. Yeah. Mm. Me, as a man, mm. whatever happened at your home, at mm. your home, your parents' house, especially if you were a firstborn, mm. Mm. no one should come in and decide. Say, <laughs> Kanyeswa is my little sister. Mm. I move out. Suske has a husband or mm. a, a boyfriend. <laughs> this boyfriend now is going to come to my dad's house. Because he's giving Kanyiswa the money to renovate. No, 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 no. Mm. This is still my house. Mm. Even though I moved out, mm. this is my home. Mm. This is my home, guys. Let's not get that like different. Like even if I move out, whatever, it's whatever meeting, whatever. If from the first go from that meeting, that man was still was supposed to be there mm. leading that meeting. Even though he has a he is, his, has own, his thing own thing going, going on. on, so he, he was should supposed have been, to be present so there. What I hear you say is that even if he was not going to, co- to contribute, but he should have been part of the decision making when From it comes the to that goal. house because he's the eldest. Because uh, yes, so, he, he is so not necessarily. Like, he's the leader. leader he's the firstborn. He's okay. the leader. So I think maybe that's maybe so as a man that is providing, that is being involved in terms of black tax, taking care of the family, then he should have been. Um, part of the decision making. So I been. think. So I think. Right. Let's move on to the second question. The second question <laughs> is: Now that we understand the dynamics when it comes to families, mm. firstborn females, 
Mm. Yeah, the word I was looking for is patriarchy. First born mm. females and stuff. Mm. So what I want to know is when it comes to boyfriend and girlfriend, like you guys are, are, are males mm. and go call and eat a man must. What is your take? Is a black tax when a female or when, a, when your partner is expecting you to contribute or to give her girlfriend allowance? That's like kind of every man. No, I, I w- <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Thanks. I wouldn't say it's a black tax. Mm. Basically, I don't even believe in that. Okay. No. You don't believe in what? In, in, in giving in, money in giving to your female? Money. In, I don't believe in that because I believe a relationship is for two people. Mm-hmm. You know, a relationship basically is in a relationship, you help me, I help you. So you expect mm. a female to also help you when you need to? Or are you also well, expecting your fi- your girlfriend to give you money? Of course. We monthly? Ass- we, we assist each other. The boyfriend yeah. allowance? We, not, not, I wouldn't call it allowance because I... And I've never, I've never done that, and I've never got gotten a girlfriend where she would give me money. Mm. But we do assist each other mm. financially mm. as my girlfriend because we are building each other mm. basically. Mm. And if we are to move into the same direction, so when does she give you money? Like does she say, baby, two hundred? Or like I want to understand, like when it comes to money, because I understand a gift. Like, when someone, when my boyfriend buys me a gift and I buy him a gift. But when it comes to money, like, because when it comes to us, we expect you, like, for nails, for... Does, does she give for, me money, though? So, like, for example... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to know. So, when I'm thinking... When I'm to do the, like, yeah. black text, does it affect you? If, and if like, yes or like, no, okay, so like, when it comes to black text, when it comes to relationship, that, I, that you should, your girlfriend should expect you to give her money monthly, girlfriend allowance. Okay, so I've, I've never, like, given any person, like, any monthly allowance. Nah. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't... I don't see myself doing that. Do I, that. I don't no, even, no, like, no, understand no. how, <laughs> in which circumstances, like, I would have to go through that. Mm. But I understand that in order, like for instance, if I'm in love with you, mm-hmm. there are certain things that you do for me to show, like just to make my the life easy. Okay. Just to make my life easy. Like it doesn't really have to be like just a small things. Probably you prepare Buying my socks. clothes, like mm. socks, just a small stuff. M- mm. Make sure, say, you don't even have to sometimes just by listening. Mm. Um, someone that does this kind of work, I come to you, you listen to my stuff, yeah. you make sure that I'm up at this time, just the small stuff, I just a little sure bit of have, appreciation for you. Fair. Not necessarily taxi fare, mm. it doesn't really have like, even, just by listening to so my problem, just to me. listen to my. Just making sure that I'm well prepared, that I am doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm. There is a certain... So supporting you emotionally. Emotionally. Just even the stuff that I have to do. Like so make sure that I'm up. You show me the... appreciation by giving me a girlfriend allowance because no, I'm supporting No, not girlfriend you. allowance. Oh. <laughs> I want to know... What is I going want... on with you with this girlfriend allowance? <laughs> I want to know who gets girlfriend allowance and who's allowed to get girlfriend allowance. Is it because you? I'm, I'm supporting you finally, I'm supporting you emotionally mm, that emotionally, you think yeah. that my end, my girlfriend contributed to me being able to come to work so I should give my girlfriend... I, I will give you this man if like I know every that month. you need some... Not, not every man. <laughs> if you need... No, if, if you, you need, need something, it. say I know, okay. What if I need as, as, something as a sort every of month? appreciation for something. Mm. Like I, I know that okay, I saw this some this particular thing. I know that you gonna yeah, this is gonna makes you happy. Mm-hmm. And I am gonna purchase that. Mm. I know that you probably a tightened budget now. Mm. I am gonna give you Contribute. that the transport uh, transport fee for that month. Mm. Now I am gonna. I shouldn't but, expect it next month. No. Okay. No. Why would that, that's crazy. <laughs> that, you know, you know the problem is, you know, I think people this thing of girlfriend allowance. Because that's what <laughs> creates expectations. If you give me money this month and you say, okay, baby, Nancy Mali nails. Obviously, if I'm doing nails monthly, why? Who's gonna do my nails next month? You know what? I, what I th- what I see the girlfriend allowance is what I interpret it. Mm. I interpret it as a renting love. Oh. Which is black text, maybe? No. Renting I'm, my love. You are, so you're I'm paying renting me to your, love I'm you. Pay, paying you to love me. That, I, you're paying me I to shouldn't look be good. Pay, I shouldn't be paying <laughs> you. <laughs> you're not paying you to look good. <laughs> I shouldn't be so paying you. So you can you. be able to say to people, ah, that's ah, my girlfriend. But the I can blonde even, hair I'll find, contributed to that blonde hair. I will find another yes, good-looking girlfriend. If, <laughs> you, yeah, if firstly, you must be able, like, if, like, if you are a person who do who do your you do your own nails, mm. I know you do your own nails. I say, now, okay, this month you didn't do the nails. Mm. I do come in here because I'm already mm. able to do. Hey, mm. I, if, exactly. if you've okay. never done nails, hey, who am I? Then maybe. Why, why, why? Oh! 
Why? Where am I to introduce you to new things? Then all of a sudden you are doing nails. I should be paying for that. You've never done nails before. All of a sudden you are doing nails. But 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 you need to. But now we're looking at it as a girlfriend allowance. Mm. When is it coming to be a boyfriend allowance? Or at what stage were a boy? And that's what I'm asking you guys. Do you get allowance? Because some boyfriends, I don't want to say kukuletu, but some boyfriends <laughs> do get. No, they do. But you know what know happens it, is. Uh, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Know, some boyfriends expect you know what, women to. What, what happens is. They even, I'm, I'm, target, they even target females. I, I, obvious. They will go they, to a female that is responsible if they know that you're responsible. I know that I'm speaking from experience. Mm. That they would say to you, ah, you seem like you have your shit together. You don't go out as often as other females. Mm. So that means yes. I know that from experience. I know that guys that would come to me and say, yo, I know that, and we'd start dating, and then after my one month, one month, nyana, True yo, baby, <laughs> okay, because there's a get together, and they're buying bottles, yeah. and would you Google it? They, and you would could you contribute and this is the guy that was from the google so one would say it's not even asking for assistance for is like rent or we are short uh, 200 uh, rand uh, but they would expect you to say okay this weekend we're going out and next week they're ex- expecting the same thing so there is something <laughs> called I'd boyfriend lo- I would, allowing i would love to have a and girlfriend I was like that a victim. i would love to have a girlfriend like that i've heard stories <laughs> You've been like that <laughs> so, <laughs> so what would you say in a natural or what it's what is it that you think about black tax after we've had this conversation and how it affects you as a man, as a black man living in, in our society? What would you say um, comes up to you when you st- speak about black tax after this conversation? Do you want me to be blunt? Yes. I can be blunt, is it? <laughs> On a serious note, I think we should do away with black tax mm-hmm. um, because it has killed so many dreams. Mm-hmm. For instance, I would be working, and uh, I have dreams of starting a business. Mm. And then all of a sudden, there's this money that needs to go to this side, mm. you know, mm. which then was not budgeted when I had those dreams of starting yeah. a business. Yeah. Yeah. So it basically kills all the ideas that I had because I need to contribute there. In fact, it's a master that I contribute there. Instead of saving that money and starting a business, mm. uh, I, I, I would say people that get this money they feel entitled there's that sort of entitlement from them that one way or another i took you to school i raised you I, in realities i did not ask you to give birth to me mm-hmm. <laughs> so if i were to say that to plant it to them i did not ask you to give birth to me mm-hmm. so basically i did not force you to raise me mm-hmm. you could if you gave birth to me you could have i gave me a way to someone mm. if so you that expecting is, something in return. if you were expecting something because when you were raising me you did not expect that okay for instance in the farming you did I, you did not expect that okay this is the cow i found this cow it was a calf no now i'm raising it up until it, it is can a, it can be able milk. to give me milk mm. and i can sell it or slaughter it and sell the meat that is not what you were doing mm. you were raising me because you want me to be the person that i am that i can be and so that i can of, take care of myself mm. and start my own family that i can take care of, of yeah. Mm. yeah so your contribution will be taking care of your own family because your family did so well with you it should be like that yeah mm. i think just <laughs> you mean, like if like people especially people that contributed to your come up mm. Mm, and as like it is your duty like to make sure that they are also yeah, well, well taken care of mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. but do away with the must yeah hey, you it's must a, it's not a must. it shouldn't be do away no, mm-hmm. but just make sure that the the people that helped you mm-hmm. you 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 you, you show appreciation them. where you can yeah, so for yeah. you you like what i hear from ufanika is that you are not you didn't raise me so that i can be able you you, you're able to sell me just like a cow so that you mm. can be able to get something in return. But you raised me so that I can be a, a better man and be able to build my own family. Mm. So what I get from you is that we need to, people will be able to take care of others, but don't force it, don't mm. make it, don't expect them to do things because obviously it's not the right mm. thing. And also you, me, me as, a, as, a, as a child of that particular per, uh, parent, mm. Just because I know like they, they have like a little bit of money mm. from wherever that is, money is coming from, 
if I want to help, let that shouldn't stop me from yeah, doing from my responsibility. So whether they have something mm. or not, they like, yeah. let me just yeah. do my responsibility. So thank you very much for your remarks and thank you very much for coming to the show. And thank you for actually being honest enough. I know you both honest for being honest <laughs> enough <laughs> when it comes to this topic. The kind of topics that men don't like to talk about to talk about because yeah. it really affects men more and it has caused a lot of families to drift apart it has caused a lot of men who are working especially first born to to go down depression and actually want to commit suicide because there's so much pressure Expensive. and so many expectations when it comes to families so maybe if we try and change the, the narrative and come up with different ways instead of expecting and and mm. forcing people to do things and just let people be and let them contribute and be responsible when they want to. Mm. From me and all of the peace. Signing out. Thank you. That was fun. Go. We should have more of these conversations with a lot of people in the room. Now let's talk about Nyansi. the podcast. Nyansi. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your podcast. Ah, why not? So this guy is into sports. Okay. Okay. It's one of those guys about handy sports. Sure. One of the sports gurus. Um, I think